So with Carlos Alcaraz being upset in Shanghai, that confirms that Yannick Sinner will be the year-end number one for the first time in his career. He's so far ahead in the points. Let's go have a look at the rankings and see how this has all happened and what the rankings actually look like as of now. So you can see there in the live rankings, we've got Sinner on 11,000 points, and he's still going in Shanghai, so he could really push himself towards 12,000 points, which is just a crazy number. And Alcaraz there at 7,100. You've got Zverev there at 6,700, and then Djokovic at 5,700. So all of those guys way too far behind Sinner to catch him, and we've still got a few weeks left. We've still got the ATP Finals, we've still got Paris Indoors, so there's still a lot of events left, but Sinner so far ahead of anybody else this year and he wraps up the world number one and the year end number one for the season before we even get to the indoor european tournaments to end the year so there it is sin up world number one year end number one for the first time in his career what a season he's had as well two grand slams he obviously made the semi-finals and quarterfinals of the other two where he lost those matches in five set epics but it's not just that because you know elgris has also won two grand slams and done okay at the slams this year but it's outside of that the 1000s. He's done so well making quarterfinals or better at every tournament this year. And he's just put a gap between him and everybody else this year. Of course, he has got that wider appeal pending over his head. So hopefully that can go away and we can see more of Sinner being the best player on the planet next year. And maybe Alcaraz can try and catch him next year. That'll be the fun thing to watch. But Sinner, year end number one for the first time in his career, wraps it up with about six weeks left of the season.